yeah so we can I know what I could do add uh, read a, a text file and display it in a list box and we'll do that so let's add a list box to our form Okay, and then you can expand the list box. We're going to use this list box to display that data that it has in memory so far. So we have the list box. A few suggestions that um, I'm actually not going to overlook. We're going to rename the list box. MST memory data all right awesome now that we have the list box we have the memory data let's get it close to this okay we have our list box and let's get into the form so now we have um our memory that's stored in this lookup. Lookup has an array of memory that's uh, an array of strings. So in our form load we're going to assign the list memory data items add range of m lookups m e m o r y memory data so now memory data we're going to create a property stub of that that returns all strings in the memory and what strings is it gonna get well this property defines what string we're gonna be returning so we're gonna return a string of all our memory data which is a string that's was read from the file. So we're going to go into the file, open it up and read all lines. Read all lines will open a text file and reads all lines of that text file and then closes the file. But it re reads the file and returns each line in an indexed array. So now that we're returning our array of lines, we're going to add them into our list memory data. And that would show us how m much games we have in memory. There, so there's one game in memory, which is this game. Cool. So now uh, I'm going to remove the memory data and um, just add new memory. So the memory should be stored in the visual input bin. I think I'm still doing debug and memory text so delete the memory that's the old memory and let's create one memory so upon starting we'll see that there's nothing in the list box meaning there's no memory to retrieve so as we continue our game tell that guy to move 
Go ahead, move, block. Go ahead, move, block. And X wins. So that should have commit something to memory. So let's press play. And there we have that last game in memory. So he plays on three. If I play on six, then its next move will be on one. And it's going to follow this life, this line. So just play it on five. So my next move would be nine, and it's on eight. My next move would be four, and there we go. X wins. So from what we understand is we should have two games in memory, both the same, which you can see here. So that's how you read data from a file and add it directly into a list box.